What's going on everyone over at the S&D Elite? My name is Kyle and welcome back to some more Black Ops 2 Search and Destroy. What I have for you guys today is an 18 and 1 in 4 rounds on raid I got last night. So I decided, you know what, I'll come over here and uh, showcase this to you guys as well as talk a little bit about how to get higher scoring gameplays when playing Search and Destroy because I do know that for a fact a lot of you guys put in a lot of time and effort into Search but not everybody ends up getting those higher scoring gameplays and by a higher scoring gameplay I usually like to say at least 14 maybe 15 plus kills as a higher scoring gameplay because on average I'll probably only get about 7 to 9 kills every other game that I play so um, I want to give you guys a little bit of tips when playing solo too that might help you not get as frustrated as much because I know this game is so frustrating especially when it comes to those situations when you lose those very stupid gunfights so I want to talk a bit about my success with playing solo and how I go about doing it um, a lot of the time so anyway first thing I'd really like to do is to avoid running head on to as many enemies as possible because I've been finding that I've been losing a lot of gunfights due to my connection and not everybody has the best connection in the world and even if you're going against someone um, well, let's just take a step back for a second. Let's say you have a good connection and someone has a bad connection, then it doesn't really balance out too well. So even though you may have the advantage on them with your better connection, you may still end up losing the gunfight due to all those lag compensation issues and all that stupid stuff that's in this game. So when it comes to engaging in someone in a close gunfight or a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, I usually prefer to flank them as much as possible or put myself at a distance and either burst fire with an SMG or use an assault rifle and try and use cover as much as possible. That's what I've been finding has been working a lot for me lately is to not normally take those direct rush rates. I don't want to get directly into the action because I know that if I get in there right away I'll end up dying as quick as possible. So that has been something that has been helping me out a lot lately and as you guys can see in this gameplay almost every single round I flank and kill the enemies from behind. Uh, with the exception of the last two rounds, I do believe a lot of the gunfights were close quarters. But where I'm using a Scorpion Evo, it um, shoots faster than all the other SMGs. And I think most people in this game that I was going up against were snipers. So it was usually um, a win-win for me anyway because they had a sniper, I had the SMG, I had the upper advantage. And um, one thing I like to do <laughs> when I'm playing solo is to not engage snipers like I just said because I encounter some of the stupidest like quick scopes and one shot kills with snipers in this game you guys will ever notice like I can literally run in spray a guy with five bullets he can just hit left trigger and then hit the right trigger and kill me as quick as possible but I don't know but anyway like I said try and flank as much as possible and one thing that it's gonna help you guys out a lot is don't stick with your teammates because 90% of the time you get put in with random teammates they're gonna be stupid 90% of the time so you what you really want to do is limit yourself from them put yourself at a distance from them but at the same point in time continuously watch that minimap because as soon as you see that kill feed come up and you see that a teammate has dropped all you have to do is look on the map see where their arrow was and as soon as their arrow disappears you can say oh well I think an enemy is in that general area so that way you can either try and proceed to that area of the map or you can just say well maybe someone's gonna be over there if I decide to go over there in a later part of the round but anyway this gameplay is coming to a close right here I end up going 18 to 1 like I said if you guys want to see some more search and destroy content from me be sure to come over to my personal channel and check that out but as uh, well you guys want to see some more uh, search and destroy videos over here let me know what you guys want to see uh, maybe some sort of series idea that I can come up with for you guys over here on this channel specifically but anyway i hope you guys enjoy the video and i will talk to you guys in my next upload and uh like i said i hope you enjoy the video but anyway i'm gonna end it here bye